All right, we got some grinding going on in the background. We are doing a timing setup on a 3.5 EcoBoost and my wife's Lincoln MKT. It is a front wheel drive version of the EcoBoost. It is not straightforward like a Ford F-150. Uh, today's video, this video specifically, is going to be about the carbon buildup and how much carbon there was in the valves for 120,000 miles. Uh, you need a cam locker tool, which is what you hear getting grinded in the background. And I will also show you the Sandblaster, the central pneumatic 20 pound tank with fine grade walnut shelling so we can walnut blast the valves and get all the carbon build up from a direct injection motor without secondary injectors off so that my wife can get back fuel economy as well as horsepower and the means while doing a timing setup that we're doing right now because I did not expect the valves to be this bad at all when we were going to do new cam phasers, new timing tensioners and basically a whole new setup on the side of the motor timing chain wise. So we're going to go in there right now and I'm going to show you how bad the buildup is. Some of these valves have marble size clunks of carbon buildup on just the base of the valve stem alone, which severely restricts airflow. So let's see if I can get you some clear video of that right now. Now you can see some right there on that valve. Not as bad as the worst ones. This one over here is very, very, very bad. I mean, there is so much carbon buildup on that left valve compared to the right one, but still just absolutely wretched. This is a first intake port. over to the second intake port once I do all these I'm gonna get you zoom ins and it's just absolutely horrendous zoom ins of the carbon buildup before basically well I mean Amanda was like you should be shooting a video for this and I'm like you got a good point it's just god awful light up that one it's kind of hard to see it that way just god awful. And there's a big one right there. That big old clump down there at the bottom. And. Ah! There's a big old clump down there on both of them, you can see. And it's just god awful. Look at all that carbon buildup. I mean, that's a really good shot of how chunky that is at the base of the valve stem. And then, you know, the left valve stem, just, it's, it's just all bad. It's all bad. Some more big clumps on that side. Just got awful.
Oh God! Ugh. This is your central pneumatic. You will need this, fed by a good bit of air compression. This is the uh, carbon buildup video on how to get rid of carbon. Central pneumatics cost $74.99 a Harbor Freight, 20 pound tank, feed it with air compression. You pour your uh, fine grit walnut shelling into the top of it and uh, you basically saw away at carbon after we cut some of it off manually up there or knock it off with a screwdriver and probably suck it out with a shop vac during the entire time you do the walnut blast. You will run a shop vac in the same port to suck out all the dust, but it will be an absolute mess. This is fine grade because my co-worker seems to think that non-fine grade, a more grittier grade, will eat away at the metal, which we do not want to manually port the ports or valving on this stock eco boost i will cover some more videos on the timing job itself but it's pretty straightforward as far as taking stuff apart like a puzzle you want to say anything man you want to narrate you want to become a vlogger a vlogger i heard a guy from china the other day call it a vlogger right. and this is a custom cut tool to hold cans in place he just cut with exceptional precision and beyond our time technologically backed machinery it's just a grinder and what was that a drill press back there <laughs> yeah, drill press with an end mill in it drill, drill press with an end mill and uh, a grinder from the 27th century because we thought we had it but he doesn't so we're making it work how much carbon she has on her valves at 120,000 miles assuming at this point it has never been done before we ran into it doing the timing job so naturally being the wife and having a corvette and a turbo harley and a mini jeep and a four-wheeler and a dirt bike it's something we need to do for her. We can't let it go like that. And uh, she's only getting like 14 miles a gallon right now. And she can tell in the mile per gallon. So hopefully we'll get a lot of that back. Oh, and probably even gain shit. two pounds of boost. She'll, she'll, she'll get this back and be like, well. Yeah, uh, it'll probably drive like a don't Bentley. Don't know where that 40 horsepower came from. It's <laughs> from your bowels, She's going to be man. staging on everybody at red lights. It's fucking clean, bro. How much carbon? 120,000 miles. What to buy to get rid of it. What to do to get rid of it. Probably wear a jumpsuit if you don't like getting dirty because he says it's going to fog up in here pretty well. We'll probably run this here Lowe's version fan to assist with some of it. And then we will probably take like a drain line from a manufacturing factory and pour it straight into the engine bay to clean everything. everything. We're going to hang plastic too. We're going to do that. It's going to look like a surgical operating it's room. It's going to look like a surgical done. operating room by the time we're done. And, uh, Are you repeating everything? Am I repeating everything? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Why? why not i say but yeah that's going to be carbon buildup. how to get rid of it what to buy if you want to send it this is something not all shops will do even the shop my ex-wife works at doesn't do it we're going to do it because it's easy and our shit's going to be super fast when we're done so we're already in there might as well get it done just want to make this video to show you how much carbon what's needed how to do it who does it which ain't a lot of people but we're going to do it so We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching the Turbo Josh YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Slap it. Forehead it. Elbow it. I don't care. Hit the like button if this helped you. Carbon belt up. Eco boost. Direct injection nightmare.